Hey guys, today I am flying out to Ingdahl, Sweden on a IFR trip. This is um, a trip called Supervising Pilot and Command. So basically I'm the pilot in command and I will have a instructor on the side of me just telling me, you know, if anything is going to be unsafe, hopefully it will not. That's not the plan for sure. But anyways, come follow me and I'll try to take you along on what's happening. The first part of the flight is all about getting the clearance, its instructions on where to go and how to go there. In the air. to the holding point. To the holding point, I just told the tower that I was ready for takeoff. The controller then told me that I should taxi up to a line just in front of the runway. Oscar Igobao, line up runway 29, I'm with. Line up runway 29, I'm with Oscar Igobao. Alright, fine and clear. It's oh, I am now cleared to line up on runway 29 and wait for the clearance for takeoff. Oscar Igobao, runway 29, I'm clear for takeoff, wind call. Runway 29, I'm clear for takeoff, Oscar Igobao. I am now cleared to apply takeoff power. When we get airborne, the school procedure is to climb to 800 feet, and then depending on where we're going, in this case, we turn right. Oscar, Echo Power identified passing 1,000 feet, contact on skill approach 125 decimal 525. Approach 125 decimal 525, Oscar, Echo Power. I just got changed over to a different control unit and the control unit told me to fly a magnetic heading of 330 degrees. Oh, 1000 feet to go. Passing MSA, accelerating to cruise climb. Have to take off checklists. Flaps up, landing light off, fuel pump off. I have to take off checklist quickly. Oscar Eagle Bow, turn right to heading 360. Right heading 360, Oscar Eagle Bow. Right now at um, Senest. Yep, now this can be in. Yeah, now. Der vil jeg gerne begynde på min ANBNC, så jeg godt forberedt. Og så derfra ellers bare... Øh, ...forberede mig på det... det bis Oscar Ego Bravo, uh, turn uh, right now, navigation towards Ernau. Turn right direct, Ernau, Oscar Ego Bravo. So initially after departure we got what you call an aviation vector. Vector means that the controller is telling you a magnetic direction to fly. In this case, he told us to fly directly to the next point on my flight plane, which is what you see I'm doing on the little screen in the top right of the cockpit. Okay, Gopal, you identified. Yes, you are very right. The exact same thing as before just happened. I got transferred to a different control unit. I know it might seem like I'm not doing a whole lot, but actually on these trips, the primary focus during the cruise segment, which you're looking at right now, is to maintain the altitude, meaning the height above the ground, and also the speed I'm flying. Currently I'm flying around 100 knots and probably at 3000 feet. What's different from this form of flying compared to the big airline jets you're probably taking when you're going on a vacation is that in the cockpit and the big Boeings and Airbuses, they have what you call an autopilot. An autopilot, as the word indicates, is a pilot that works automatically. However, in this particular aircraft, there's no autopilot. So it's all done manual, which is a great practice to fly. We flew in the GPS approach runway 3 to England, Sweden. Plate 12-2, effective November 9th, 
2018. MSA is 2600 feet, final approach course is B13. It might seem a little confusing at first, but what I'm talking about is the approach to the Swedish airfield, which is the white piece of paper in front of me. And that's basically what I'm going through as a last preparation before the approach. Time for the descent checklist. Some additional preparations for the approach. Checklist, mixture set, fuel selector, full is tank, carbine as required, approach briefing are completed. Okay, well, contact the 1C2455. I requested, which means I asked specifically for an approach to runway 32 in Sweden, Engelholm. Right now I'm just trying to create the visual picture in order to fly the approach to the airfield and be prepared. So I'm just going to turn the speed up a little bit. So what just happened is basically that I flew down to a low height uh, close to the runway in order to practice flying the approach. Now when I got to that point I did what we call a go around. I applied full power and then I continued to climb. So that was more or less it for the approach. I will um, turn the speed up a little bit and you will see the return flight.
Thank you for watching. I hope that you found it interesting and at least that either you heard something or you saw something that was interesting. <laughs> either way, if you have any questions or anything else, please do not hesitate to write a comment below. Until next video, have a great day.